Tammy. Tell me about your work a little bit. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm working in the figurative style with oil paint. Uh, I feel like the figure is a very important subject right now in uh, our latest, our times of isolation and uh, despair and stress over the last few years of pandemic and political strife. I feel like it is a very important time to re-inhabit our bodies and celebrate them, but also acknowledge what we've been going through with the time of difficulty. Uh, that's often in the series is called this series is Deliquest, so which means to melt or dissolve in English. Uh, for me, it reflects the feelings of somewhat drawing down or despair we can feel at times. I try to keep them hopeful with the color choice, that they are vibrant colors, uh, that celebrate life and fecundity and uh, have a certain optimism that counteracts the, the feelings of, of drawing down, of, of uh, hopelessness that sometimes affects many of us. I think a lot of creatives go through that cycle of, uh, of pessimism and optimism, that the ebb and flow of human misery, if you will, that we all experience from time to time. So I hope that people relate to that um, in the images. Yet the colors hopefully bring a bit of optimism to the scene. What about the drawings? The drawings, I, I, I really enjoy, especially pre-COVID, being able to work directly in front of a, a model in, in fig, my figure drawing group, basic inquiry, where uh, you have 10 minute poses, things, but the immediacy of having you know, a working human being and uh, reflecting their, the calligraphy of their form is something I find uh, really satisfying. And I hope with a bit of minimalist approach, you can convey space and figure and form uh, this one, I, I worked with ink, but it has a woodcut sort of quality to it that I that I like. It's original from, from ink, but I love that sort of lino cut or woodcut look to the, the varying thicknesses of the line. And I hope that conveys volume um, in, a, in a very minimalist way compared to some of the other works where I'm working with oil, with a palette knife, and very, um, very thick, bringing up texture. This is this such a contrast between the and tell me about yourself as an artist, your background. Uh... My background, I, am, I studied fine arts, art history and chemistry at, at UC Berkeley in California, where I was born and raised. I uh, lived there, but lived throughout France and Hong Kong, some, some other locales where I had uh, a lot of influences, but still very influenced by the San Francisco um, Bay Area figurative groups, so, uh, you know, Joan Brown and the early Richard Diebenkorn and things like that, but, uh, and, or, you know, even Hans Hoffman in the squares, that rectangles that I bring in to counteract the, 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 voluminous, the voluminous nature of, of some of the figures. So when I, I studied, um, my master's was in art conservation, so restoring paintings, so I have an understanding of materials and the way they decay, and that, uh, informs a lot of my art as far as looking at materials and the way they may shift into liquid or different forms that, that kind of informs the Delta series as well, that in a closed state, according to the law of thermodynamics, that things will stay, energy will all be conserved. And I like the idea of no matter what form our energy takes, that it will be preserved and we will have it for another creative endeavor later on. Um, so that, that the, the conservation background, restoring paintings, and the study of material science, I think, really informs my artwork. So I continue to work and, and paint in, in Vancouver now, and uh, enjoy it very much. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I want to thank you so much for having my artwork.